Okay, so now that we've set up our overlap control and our product delay, we're going to see section control at work. So again, with this simulator, I'm using a early riser planner. However, this type of setup applies not only to planners, but to any kind of liquid control, any kind of anhydrous application or, or any kind of sprayer, etc. So what we're going to do so that we can see this at work, I'm going to add a UDW to my left hand area. So I'm going to go to Toolbox Layout and I'm going to add the swath map on the left hand area so that you can see that the machine is entering an already applied area. So we'll go back to our run screen and on run 2 I have our section status, the clutch control. So right now I've got my planner in the ground. It is in work. We're going to start driving forward. And you'll see that we're going to enter an already applied area here shortly. So again, notice on the swath map to the left, you'll see an area that's already applied. And notice how the sections change from an applying situation to not applying as we enter this already applied area. Now as we enter an area that has not yet been applied, all of our sections will start applying again. And again, if your sections are not applying, turning on or off when you would like, then it is likely that we need to adjust product delay a little bit. And like we said, there is formulas for how to set that product delay value. When we're setting product delay, we need to make sure that our start early and stop late are both set to zero before we can set product delay. Uh, we don't want any start early and stop late to confound our observations when we're trying to set product delay. So we need to set that first. Then, once we have product delay set to where it needs to be, then it is fine to start using a start early and stop late to put any intentional overlap or skip in our application.